Welcome to Awakening the Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Christian Strang, and welcome to your July love letter. July is the month that we honor and we celebrate Mary Magdalene's incarnation. July 22nd is known as her feast day, which is basically when the Catholic Church said, well, and let me back up. It's basically when the Catholic Church caved to the pressure from the masses and said, oh, yeah, that part about Mary Magdalene being a prostitute, we got that wrong. She's actually a saint. And then they gave her a feast day because that's what they do to try and make up for it and balance their karma. I'm not certain it worked. But what I do love is that we have this day, July 22nd, that is her feast day and is the day to celebrate her incarnation and my personal favorite, celebrating who she is now and really celebrating the light that her and Yeshua continue to bring and shine to those of us with the eyes to see and the ears to hear. So let's get into it, shall we? Your oracle reading for this month comes from her book, Love Letters from Mary Magdalene. As you may know, and if you've been in my swirl for some time, you know that on the 22nd of every month, we honor Mary Magdalene. Every time you see a 22, every time you see multiple twos, that's a little nod to the divine feminine, to the goddess that is Mary Magdalene and all the goddesses really of the light. But I like to call her the OG goddess, the one that we really celebrate and are connecting to. And there's a specific reason why that is. And we'll be sharing that reason with those who are called to say yes to a very special offer that we will have going out to our Mary Magdalene swirl. So Mary Magdalene does have some new information she wants to bring us since the 2022 writings of Love Letters from Mary Magdalene, and that will be made available to all those who are in our Mary Magdalene swirl. Would you like to be a part of our Mary Magdalene swirl? If so, go to sacred-spirituality.org and click on get a free unpublished love letter from Mary Magdalene. That puts you into our swirl and then you will be able to get access if you so choose to a special ritual and offering that we have for you on July 22nd, Mary Magdalene Day. So if you're new to Mary Magdalene world, and you may have noticed that everyone seems to be talking about her, and that's very exciting because it is a sign of the divine feminine, the goddess energy being made more powerfully present in the third and fourth dimensions. So when we see those fourth dimensional aspects talking about Mary Magdalene, we know that that light is coming through from the goddess, which supports those who are just coming into the space to go higher into who they really are. So remembering that no matter where someone is vibrating at, no matter where you're vibrating at in this moment, you can make a different choice today, later today, tomorrow, that can take you into a higher dimension of consciousness, that can take you into more of who you really are. So people talking about Mary Magdalene more and more shows that that expansion is happening and it's very exciting. It's like, for those of you that are on my Instagram, it's like for me, it was very exciting when recently I was on an airplane and they offered me organic, non-GMO, gluten-free food. I was just like, consciousness is shifting. It's happening. You know, 20 plus years, I've been writing blogs and writing about being gluten-free. And of course, since 2020, talking about why we need to be gluten-free because of the glyphosate poisoning on the wheat fields. And so it was such a, and then of course, the importance of organic and non-GMO because of the toxins on the in the food. And so it was such a huge win for me to see on a commercial airline, there was organic GF, non-GMO foods being offered to me. I was literally like, it's happening. <laughs> Consciousness is changing. It's the same thing when I see, um, you know, millennials in the, you know, influencers in the space talking about, you know, Mary Magdalene. And when I see people from all walks of life talking about Mary Magdalene, I know that things are are really shifting in a powerful way. So who was Mary Magdalene? If you're new to the path of Mary Magdalene or new to me, I'll just give you a very small snippet here about Mary Magdalene. And then I invite you to get our book, Love Letters from Mary Magdalene, The Untold Tale of Her Life, Love and Legacy to learn more about her. But she was a, she lived on earth 
as Mary Magdalene, she is the divine counterpart or holy beloved of the one known as Jesus Christ or Yeshua ben Joseph, his true name. And she was a healer. She was of royalty, of a royal lineage. She was a healer of women and mothers and children. And when she came together with Yeshua, that is when they both went higher into who they really are. Now, there are many fictional, imagined, quote unquote, channeled accounts of their life together. It's up to you, the individual, to find the stories about Mary Magdalene and Yeshua that most resonate with your heart, with your soul, with your deep divine knowing. So I really didn't know much about Mary Magdalene until she came to me in 2013 with Yeshua, but I wasn't really paying much attention to the divine feminine counterparts. I was really captivated by Yeshua and some of the other ascended masters that were with him. Over time, her presence became more fully known to me. And then in 2020, I woke up and she was by my bedside and said, okay, Chica, <laughs> essentially now I'm, I'm going to be leading the way. And I said, yeah, let's go. And it has been an incredible unfolding of light and continues to be. Of course, our book, Love Letters to Mary Magdalene, really took my connection with Mary Magdalene deeper. And I know it did that for so many of you who have read this book and really enhance your connection with her, with the path, excuse me, the path of light that her and Yeshua created as well. So she has some a big, a big reveal or a big announcement for us that will be coming out July 22nd to those who are in the Mary Magdalene swirl. So again, if you're not yet in that swirl, you want to make sure you sign up for the free unpublished love, love letter from her that is on the homepage of our website, sacred-spirituality.org. You might notice we have a new look, a little bit of a new look on our site as well. So let's go into your special message for this month of July. I do want to invite you to make sure that you spend this month of expansion, maximum expansion, honoring Mary Magdalene. If there are other goddesses you feel a stronger connection to, of course, feel free to do that as well. But this is her special feast day. Again, we're always taking back where the artificial matrix, where the hijacked agenda has sought to um, co-opt. So, you know, the sacred heart is very big in the um, Catholic Church. We've taken that back. We've taken that technology back. If you've been working with us, we you know we have a special sacred heart attunement that you receive that really allows you to connect in to the power of your body, which is a portal. And it is a high advanced technology. So we've taken our power back there. We're going to take our power back from the um, feast day, the Mary Magdalene feast day. Now that, you know, the church says this is her feast day. Oh, it turns out we were wrong. She's not a prostitute. She's a saint. Oops, <laughs> our bad, which again came because the evidence was so mounting that she was a saint and the pressure became so great. This is another reminder that the more we spend our time, money and energy on the divine, on what is truly true, the hijacked agenda has no, no other option but to give in, but to fold, but to acquiesce to the power that is divine beings of light here on earth. So very, very powerful. Now, of course, I use the term loosely here, give our power away. Of course, we always have our power. It's just we forget. So it's more like forgetting your power and remembering your power. And so we are remembering that the hijacked agenda, which operates through the Catholic Church and governments and other organizations, we can take our we can take that technology that empowerment back from those designations and when we do we have incredible blessings of light that come into our life and this is actually the loophole in the matrix right how do you how do you navigate the shit show that is the third and fourth dimensional earth Oh, you, you get out of that shit show by activating your connection to source, to the divine, to a goddess like Mary Magdalene, to a god like Yeshua. And we will talk more about um, their role in the new earth and their role in what's coming for humanity. So it's very, very exciting. Now you're in this maximum expansion energy in July. So What's interesting is the matrix programs you to take vacations in the summer, right? And you can, obviously you can do whatever you want. Actually, though, in accordance with the natural cycles, winter would be the best time to be 
lounging and taking time off. Now, what's cool about summer is you can travel and you can work and you can do all the things because you have more expanded capacity in this fire time. Um, This is fire element time. So you've just got more expanded capacity. So you can vacay and do this and do that and do all the things, you know, summer would be the time you go on a vacay where you're go, 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 because you have the capacity for that. But if you're really talking about taking time off and getting true rest and refreshment and rejuvenation, that's you want to do that in the winter months. That's the time where you can go deep within and the cosmos is literally supporting you. And we see how the matrix programs us and programs you to see it opposite, right? Winter is like, oh, it's holiday time. We're doing this celebration and that celebration and go, 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 go. Totally takes people out of their alignment with who they really are. Same with summer. Oh no, summer's the time to go on vacation. No, get away, take a break, rest, relax. Like, oh, that's actually not the energy of the summertime. Now, of course, you can rest and relax and we encourage you to do so in any season. However, you can see the differential in the programming. All right, let's go to the specific message, oracle message for you today. It comes to you, of course, from Love Letters from Mary Magdalene, and it's a specific part of the transmission that's coming in as the focus for the month of July. So take a nice, deep cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of your mouth, and here we go. Speaking of the hijacked agenda, the hijacked agenda on earth does not desire for humans to fully ascend into who they really are. Instead, it works overtime to promote sex as a casual, liberated affair, as opposed to the sacred act that it is. The agenda does this in all areas and sectors of earth life, glorifying pathways of living that are in direct misalignment with source and a fulfilling incarnation. Because of this, humans get sidetracked, busily navigating scenic route unfoldings in sex, in work, in finances, and in their overall lifestyle. These scenic routes take them off the course of their mission as god goddesses in form while on earth. Now, as I've mentioned previously, you did know it would be like this upon incarnating, and you were aware that there would be an agenda in full force attempting to distract you from your true path. So don't get hung up on how dare they, because it was always going to be like this. It's my intention, it's Yeshua's intention, it's Mother Mary's intention that you transcend the bright and shiny distractions of your time. Stay as natural and organic as you can possibly be. Use the technology for your divine purpose. Do not let the technology use you because it will use you if you do not stay divinely rooted. Infiltrate artificial matrix systems as you're guided to do so, but do not lose your way. It's our intention that you step into full authentic unification with your God self in form which will allow you to navigate the artificial matrix with much greater ease and flow. It's what we did while living upon earth, and it's what you're being invited into as well, being fully human and fully divine. And incidentally, dearest one, being fully human is fully divine. You're living in an advanced technology body-mind that's equipped with all that's needed to experience unification with your God self or higher self while in form. Okay. Now, it is important for me to include here, lest any egoic rumblings begin. Being united with your higher self or your God self in form does not make you better or superior to anyone else. Yeshua truly lived this teaching powerfully while on earth. He was fully united with his God self and walked upon earth for decades in this way. And yet he would not ever suppose himself to be greater than God herself or greater than any one of his brothers or sisters. All right, we're going to end there. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out of your mouth. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, for the month of July is to stay as natural and organic as you can possibly be. 
Use technology for your divine mission and purpose. Do not let it use you. Infiltrate artificial matrix systems as you're guided, but don't lose your way. This will support you in stepping into your full authentic unification with your higher self in form, which we're reminding you allows you to navigate the artificial matrix with much greater ease and flow. So literally Mary Magdalene and Yeshua are giving us the keys to the kingdom. If you will, they're giving us like, here's how you navigate this hijacked agenda while you're in a body. They're telling us how to do it. So that is your focus. Now we started out a little bit about, um, casual liberated sex um, as something that's promoted in the agenda. Like it's promoted, casual sex is promoted as a liberation, right? It's specifically for women because men didn't necessarily need that permission, um, but the feminine did because the feminine knows it's a sacred act. So really, if you're in that space in your life, really tuning in and take a month off of casual sex for the month of July and really allow yourself to be guided by your higher self, to union with your beloved, which is the best sex you could ever possibly hope to have at any time in your life. All right, so that is our focus for the month of July, really staying as natural and organic as we can, using technology for our divine mission only, infiltrating artificial matrix systems where appropriate to shine the light, but being sure not to lose our way. How do we make sure we don't lose our way? Daily spiritual practice, spiritual community, spiritual mentorship. And this has to be with soul resonant peeps. You know, this has to be because there's a lot because one of the things the third and fourth dimension is done and the artificial matrix is done, they've hijacked um, the, the quote unquote, the the sector that is spirituality and health. So they've hijacked that. So we have so many hacks, so, so much distortion happening in those spaces. So you have to be really mindful and really give special attention to people that have been in the space for a long time, right? I've been doing this work since 2008. Check yourself on the people who are like, I just had a spiritual awakening, you know, or they had it a few years ago. That doesn't mean they're not authentic. It just means be mindful, be discerning. There is a lot of stuff out there that is seeking to attach to you and seeking to guide you on those scenic routes that Mary Magdalene talks about. And that's just a waste of your time and energy and vital life force. And it's also a waste of your precious mission that you are here to serve and live fully. All right, my dear, thank you so much for listening. Make this the month that you are honoring Mary Magdalene. Again, we'll have a customized ritual and we will have a special offer with a a new message from Mary and Yeshua to support us at this time. We know the collective is approaching a very big shift in consciousness yet again. (laughs) And this is very important for the ascension of all those with the eyes to see and the ears to hear. If you'd like more freebies for me, if you'd like more goodness, go to sacred-spirituality.org. If you want to join our Mary Magdalene swirl, be sure to click on that offer. We have lots of amazing meditations and transmissions and books to support you in your day-to-day sacred unfolding of light. If this podcast episode was of benefit to you, please feel free to forward it to someone you know, post it on social, tag me for sure, and I will repost. It's always such an honor to share with you and know that you are with us at this most tremendous time in consciousness. Thank you so much for listening. And as always, I'm Dr. Christian Strang, and this has been Awakening the Podcast.